So I got on my knees and I said, Heavenly Father, I can't, I can't accept this assignment. It's just too hard. But the nudge and the prompting said, just go, just go. We were on a family vacation and an unexpected situation happened where our grandson was uh, all of a sudden stopped breathing and we lost him. After spending three days in a children's hospital with him, our hearts were very tender. As we returned back to Salt Lake, I realized that I had an assignment at the Primary Children's Hospital. And my heart was so tender and raw, I just knew I couldn't do it. So I got on my knees and I said, Heavenly Father, I can't, I can't accept this assignment. It's just too hard. But the nudge and the prompting said, just go, just go. So with tears in my eyes, I drove to the Primary Children's Hospital. And I thought, I'm not going to be any good for anyone, but I'm here. And as I walked in, I just the sights and the sounds just opened up so much of a heartbreak for me. But I got the assignment to meet Oliver. And I walked in his little room, and on his whiteboard was a scripture that said, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not to thine own understanding. I don't know how it happened, but that scripture opened my vision, healed my heart in a way that I could never have done it. And I was so grateful that the Lord gave me this gift. And if I can't even imagine if I hadn't have listened, but the gift and the um, joy that came into my heart as I realized the eternities was an immense um, blessing. And I was grateful that He had given me that hard thing to do. And so me going to that primary children's hospital was for no one else but for me to feel the love of the Savior and through His grace feel healed, supported, and it was, a, it was just a gift. So I'm grateful that we could hear Him because it just opens up our minds of how much He loves us and understands our circumstances. Mm -hmm.